Hi guys, this is Sam and welcome to Inglogic. Today we have a vocabulary lesson and since in the Northern Hemisphere winter is fast approaching, the days are getting shorter and the nights are drawing in, I thought we should dissect and learn everything that we can about the word day. So please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and now let's get started. I was very shocked when I recently found out that not every country in the world follows the convention of the clocks changing in order to mark the difference between spring and summer against autumn and winter. And I only found out because I used to have a lot of students from all over the world and some of them mentioned that this doesn't happen where they live. However, in the UK and in a lot of the countries in the world, the clocks do go forward one hour at the end of March and go back one hour at the end of October. These two long stretches of time have various names, the most common ones at least here being daylight saving time, British summer time or simply summer time from the end of March to the end of October. The period between the end of October and the end of March is mainly referred to as standard time or Greenwich mean time, not Greenwich. We won't delve into the whole history of how this practice came to be, but the idea of setting the clocks forward and back was first mooted in 1784 by Benjamin Franklin, who suggested it as a way to save candles by making fuller use of daylight. Although his proposal was ignored, it was then put forward again in the early 1900s to face the cost of energy this time, and Canada was the first country in the world to adopt daylight saving time in 1908, and after that, many others followed suit. There are endless meanings and expressions with the word day. We won't cover them all, but only the ones that I think deserve a little bit of extra attention for advanced English, and on top of that, I will also give you a couple of fun facts. In a lot of languages, it's very common to use the equivalent of the expression the day before yesterday. So in Italian, for example, it's very common to say, I bought this the day before yesterday. In English, whilst it's correct, we would never really say that. We would simply say, I bought this two days ago, or if today is Tuesday, you would say, I bought it on Sunday. The same goes for the future. Whilst the day after tomorrow exists, we would never really use it. So we would only say, I'm meeting my friend in two days, or if today is Tuesday, we would simply say, I'm meeting them on Thursday. Do these two expressions mean the same thing? Well, unfortunately, they don't. A day off is a day when you're not at work. So you can say, today I have an extra day off, meaning that you're not working. You can also say, today I am off work, or simply, today I am off. An off day, however, is a day when you're sad, you are in a bad mood, nothing is going the way you should be. So technically, you could say, I've had an off day today, so tomorrow I'm taking a day off, meaning that today has been a bad day and you've made the decision not to go to work tomorrow. The expression one day can refer both to the past and to the future, depending on the grammar around it. One day he told me he loved me in the past, one day he'll tell me he loves me in the future. Not many people got divorced in the early 1900s because in those days, meaning then, at that time, it was considered sacrilege. Back in the day is a spoken expression that means in the past. Back in the day, we didn't have mobile phones and it was much harder to communicate. I bought this the other day means a few days ago. The next expression uses mainly the word year. You can use the word month, but it's fairly uncommon. So we can say it is four years to the day since she graduated. And tense-wise, it's a stock phrase. So we use the simple present with it is and then the simple past after since. As for the future, we can say they'll contact me any day now to mean very soon. One of these days I'll finally understand how you pulled that off means sometime soon, at some point in the future. 
To this day, I still don't know what she told him that weekend three years ago means that in all the time starting from three years ago until now, including now, you still don't know. And this phrase is used to add some emphasis, surprise, drama and frustration. So I understand that you really want to know what she told him, but you still don't. A fairly easy construction is these days. And in the sentence, I can't believe that in this day and age, we still need to fight for equal pay between men and women. This means that you are showing shock and disapproval that something still exists. So because we live in a modern and forward thinking world, you would assume that this is not a problem anymore. You would assume that simply everyone gets paid equally. So you are shocked and disappointed that this is not the case now. With the idea of beginning, you can say, in the early days of my new job, so when I first started my new job, I used to always come in early to impress my manager. It's early days is an expression that really emphasises the fact that something is in the beginning stages. So if you've just started a new research project, you can say it's still early days, so I can't promise that my project will produce any results. Your final exam is in four days. It's a bit late in the day to start studying means that you've left it too late. You should have started studying a long time ago. I spent 10 years of my life doing a job I hated, day in and day out, until I finally plucked up the courage to quit, is used to emphasise your frustration about the fact that this thing went on continuously for a very long time in a boring and annoying way, just like the expression day after day. We don't say one day yes and one day no, but if you want to convey that concept, we say every other day. I go to the gym every other day means on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays usually. At the end of the day is a very common spoken expression used when you give your final opinion about something after considering everything, or when you say how a situation simply is despite people's attempts to change it, to influence it. If I say, all I can do is give her my advice, but at the end of the day she is free to do whatever she wants, that means that there's not much that I can actually do to force her to do what I want because the truth of the matter is that my advice is just spoken words but she is in charge of making the final decision. Having a serious disease teaches you to take each day as it comes or take it one day at a time means that this situation teaches you to deal with problems or life in general as and when they present themselves without worrying about potential future ones. He ended his days alone and they spend their days looking after the garden means their lives. After 15 hours in the office, let's just call it a day, is a very common spoken expression that means that you agree or decide to stop doing something. It can also be used in other contexts, for example a relationship. If a relationship is not working, you should just call it a day. I'll have you disbarred for what you did. Your days as a lawyer are numbered means that you won't be a lawyer for much longer. If you keep committing crimes, no one will be able to save you on the day of reckoning refers to a time when the consequences and negative results of something that you did in the past catch up with you and you have to deal with them. In this case, it can simply be that the police catch you and put you in jail. It's very common to use this expression in religion. That's basically the day that you die and God has to decide whether to send you to heaven, purgatory or hell. So it's basically the day when you receive the punishment or reward that you deserve based on how you behaved in your life. Your unexpected visit made my day means that it made you really happy. It was the highlight of your day. I never thought I'd live to see the day when cars could drive themselves means that you are surprised to be alive to experience something so unexpected and shocking in a positive or negative way. Despite the lack of support, the Prime Minister lives to fight another day means that they continue to live, 
in this case work or fight in a competition after overcoming a negative experience. When everything that could go wrong does go wrong, it's not your day. I don't know why, but I'm not in the best mood today. I guess it's just one of those days, is a spoken expression that you use when something is going wrong. As a doctor, dealing with death is all in a day's work means that death is something difficult and unpleasant to deal with that is, however, normal part of someone's job in this case. We could go to the countryside in the morning and make a day of it is an expression that you use in spoken English to say that you can turn a pleasant activity into something that you do the whole day. The newspapers had a field day when those private photos were leaked is an informal way to say that you are busy doing something, especially if it's about criticising someone. It's not every day that Brad Pitt shakes your hand on the street is a spoken expression that you say when something is so special that it doesn't happen very often, so you are very surprised by that. Every dog has its day means that everyone will be successful and will have their moment of glory at some point in their lives, regardless of who they are. And that's it for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel down below. And do let me know in the comments which expressions you didn't know and if you can think of more regarding the word day. I will see you on Thursday with my quick vocabulary video and next Tuesday with my next explanation one.